Welcome to the Richland 2 Sports Wrap, a weekly show dedicated to the athletic teams in Richland 2. We begin this edition of the Sports Wrap with a look at tennis. Blythewood hosted Ridgeview. The Lady Bengals controlled the action at the net as they went on to beat the Lady Blazers 5-1. Later in the week, the Lady Bengals hosted r &E in a district matchup. Blythewood put on an impressive offensive performance as they went on to beat the Lady Cavs 6-0. r &E hosted Spring Valley in a rivals matchup. The Lady Vikings proved to be too much for the Lady Cavs as they went on to win this one 6-0. Over to volleyball, Blythewood hosted Ridgeview. The Lady Bengals dominated the court as they went on to beat the Lady Blazers three sets to none, with Gabriela Martinez leading the team with five aces and 30 assists. Spring Valley hosted Lugolf Elgin. The Lady Vikings fought hard but came up short losing this one 3-1. Later in the week, the Lady Vikings traveled to R&E for a rivals match. The Lady Cavs couldn't keep up with Spring Valley's offense as the Lady Vikings went on to win this one three sets to none. Over to football, Blythewood traveled to Aiken to take on the Green Hornets. The Bengals came out strong getting on the board early and often, leading them to a 49-7 victory over Aiken. Westwood hosted Chapin. The Red Hawks took an early lead, but Chapin came out strong in the second half, going on to beat Westwood 28-13. R&E traveled to Sumter to take on the Gamecocks. The Cavs took an early lead in the first half, but Sumter takes the lead with a big third-quarter performance. Late in the fourth, the Cavs drive in one last touchdown to lead them to this 26-25 victory over Sumter. Over to District 2 Stadium, Ridgeview hosted South Florence. In the opening minutes of the game, defensive lineman Curtis Bay scoops up this fumble to set up a field goal to take the lead. South Florence answers right back by running this kickoff in for a touchdown. On the Blazers' next drive, Nolan Randolph blasts past South Florence's defense, getting in the end zone to take the lead. The Bruins regain the lead with this quick touchdown. The Blazers come out strong in the second half, but South Florence's offense proved to be too much as they went on to beat the Blazers 56-35. Over to Harry Perrone, Spring Valley hosted White Knoll. Coming into the fourth quarter, the Vikings trail 27-17. With four minutes left in the game, White Knoll hits this long field goal to increase their lead. The Vikings drive hard in the last minutes of the game, but come up short as they went on to lose this one 30-17. That'll do it for this edition of the Sports Wrap. Tune in next week for all your Richland 2 sports scores and highlights.